This is about defending democracy. This is no longer Democrats versus Republicans. What do you want your kids to believe in? There must be give and take. This is White Flag with Joe Walsh. Look, if Donald Trump wins in November, I may well leave the country. I mean that. And I don't say that to be overly dramatic. I don't say that to say, oh, look at me, look at me. Joe's going to leave the country. I say that because if Donald Trump is president again, I generally fear for my personal security. And I'm not alone. I've been a very, very outspoken opponent of Donald Trump. There are a lot of people like me who are scared to death that if he wins again in November, Donald Trump will come after us. That's real. I feel that. And I'm saying that to, again, remind you of how me and so many people like me have risked everything to publicly oppose Donald Trump. I'm I'm not a Democrat. I'm a never Trumper. Uh, I'm making a point. I want to remind you all that as a never Trumper, as a very public never Trumper, these past five or six years, I've I've given up my livelihood. I've given up any media career, really. I've given up uh, making money, really. I've given up any future in the Republican Party, and I've given up my public safety. No regrets. Uh, I'm not looking for applause. I'm not looking for a pat on the back. Uh, I'm just, I'm reminding you of all that me and people like me as public Republican conservative never Trumpers I'm reminding you of all we've given up. No regrets. Again, no applause. I have no regrets. I've done this and I do it again because I believe in my head and my heart. I believe in my bones that Donald Trump is an un-American lawless psychopath who is a threat, a real threat to everything I believe in. Nothing matters more than Donald Trump losing. I just spent a couple minutes, right, uh, way too much of a buildup and a lead in to get to my main point today. Nothing else matters. Nothing else matters except for Donald Trump losing. Nothing matters. Trump must lose. And so people like me who... Again, I want you to understand and remind you where I'm coming from, because I've been out there publicly for a week and a half, respectfully calling for Joe Biden to step down. Calling for Joe Biden, respectfully, President Biden, you've done great stuff. You served a term. You've done wonderful things. But you need to step down. You need to put your country first because Donald Trump needs to lose. And you no longer give us the best chance, the best shot at defeating Donald Trump. And because I've said that, respectfully, because I've said that, and, and, and because a number of other never Trumpers have said that, Democrats have jumped on us. Democrats have gone after us. Democrats have called us out, questioned our motives, Oh, uh, called us, called us Republicans because we dare question whether Joe Biden can defeat Donald Trump. Reminder to all of you Democrats that have stopped following me or have called me every name under the sun. Don't you dare question my motives. Disagree with me, sure, but don't question my motives. Not not after everything I've been through. 
Not after everything I've risked. Not after everything I've given up. All I care about is defeating Donald Trump. And when I call for Joe Biden to do the right thing and step down, it's because I want to defeat Donald Trump. When I encourage uh, uh, Joe Biden to not run again and endorse and embrace his vice president, when I say that publicly, it's because all I care about is wanting Donald Trump defeated. Again, disagree with me. Call me stupid. Call me wrong. Call me ignorant. Don't you dare question my motives. Oh, no, no, no. Respectfully, fuck you. Don't you dare do that. Don't you dare do that. I've risked my life to publicly oppose Donald Trump. Don't you dare, Democrats, respectfully, and you people on the left, don't you dare question my motives. I've given it all up. Remember, I'm not a Democrat. I'm a conservative still. I'm still a proud Tea Party guy. I've given everything up to publicly oppose Trump. So when I come out these last eight to nine days and even question whether Biden should be the nominee and you jump on me and you call me a traitor to the anti-Trump cause, respectfully, fuck you. Don't you dare do that. You sound like MAGA. Everybody the last, everybody in MAGA the last five or six years calling me a traitor because I left MAGA. Don't do that, Democrats. Don't be like MAGA, Democrats. Don't do that. I'm someone who, if Trump wins, might seriously leave the country because I fear for my safety. So don't question my motives. Final point. Every time I go on TV, every time I go on the radio, every time I go on my podcast, every time I go on Twitter, and I respectfully call on Joe Biden to step down and not run, I always say the following, but Mr. President, if you stay in and you run, Mr. President Joe Biden, I will run through a fucking wall to help you get elected. And I mean that because I will. Look, I got no problem with any of us, any of us calling for Joe Biden to step down. If Joe Biden decides he's not stepping down, then all of us, all of us then must run through a wall to help him defeat Trump. And I will. And if Joe Biden stays in, and we'll know within a week or two, if Joe Biden stays in and he stems the tide and this thing is over, nobody will work harder to help get Joe Biden reelected than I will. Because nothing matters at all. I was about to say nothing matters more. Nothing matters except defeating Donald Trump. That's the only thing that matters. Disagree with me, fine. Don't question my motives. Don't you dare. Love you. Love your show. Joe Walsh, this is White Flag with Joe Walsh. One word if you want to email me, Joe Walsh White Flag at gmail.com. Joe Walsh White Flag at gmail.com. Thanks for listening. Be brave. Thank you for listening. Remember to listen, share, and follow White Flag with Joe Walsh on Apple Podcasts, Spotify, and everywhere great podcasts are found. And be sure to leave a five-star review. This has been White Flag with Joe Walsh.